New Audi Q5 costs from £37,170. Audi has revealed prices and specs for the new Q5, first deliveries are expected in April. Prices and specs of the new Audi Q5 have been revealed, following the car's reveal at the Paris Motor Show last year. Three specs are available, SE, Sport, and S-Line, with prices starting from £37,170 for the 2.0-litre diesel in SE form, rising to £38,270 for the same car in Sport trim, and £40,220 for S-Line. The 2.0-litre TFC petrol engine costs around £800 more across the board. First deliveries are expected for April. Audi's second-generation BMW X3 and Mercedes GLC rival is closely related to the latest A4 saloon, and has been engineered from scratch to reduce weight. Weight Saving Tech Key to that weight loss is the adoption of VW Group's MLB platform, already used by the A4 and the larger Q7. The new Q5 is close to the old model in size, but incorporates better packaging to improve interior space. The new Q5 is also one of the most aerodynamic cars in this class, and Audi is promising exceptionally low wind noise and very little vibrations in the cabin. The exterior of the Q5 has been given a more rugged appearance than the current car, in order to amplify the car's off-road credentials. Clear influences from the Q7 and smaller Q2 can be seen, particularly around the front of the car. Its headlights come as either LED or high-resolution matrix LED depending on specification, and Audi's dynamic turn signals also feature. Inside the five-seat cabin, buyers will be able to opt for Audi's 12.3-in virtual cockpit display, already in use on a wide variety of models, as well as two different infotainment screens. A 7.0-in freestanding screen will feature on the standard car, while range-topping models will get a larger 8.3-in screen. The system is controlled via a rotary dial and touchpad. Top-end versions also include haptic feedback. A newly developed head-up display is on the options list, and can project relevant information directly onto the windscreen. Engines The new Q5 will come with a range of 4-cylinder and V6 petrol and diesel options, with most engines carried over from the A4. The V6 motors are part of a new generation of Enigny's jointly developed between Audi and Porsche. Also planned is a plug-in hybrid version of the Q5, to satisfy the growing demand for hybrid subs. That model will feature a 2.0-liter four-cylinder petrol engine working in combination with an electric motor, it's said to have an all-electric range of up to 31 miles, as previewed by the Audi L Road shooting brake concept car. At launch, two options are available, a 2.0-liter TDI diesel in 187 bhp form, and a 2.0-liter petrol with 249 bhp, which is claimed by Audi to return 40.9 mpg and emit 157g-km. A 3.0-liter V6 diesel with 282 bhp will come later. Audi also wants to offer buyers more performance-oriented options. Both SQ5 and RSQ5 versions of the car will be made, with the former getting 349 bhp from its 3.0-liter V6 diesel engine, and the latter getting close to 500 bhp from a twin-turbocharged version of the same engine. Some versions can be specified with Audi's Ultra technology, which disengages the rear axle when it's not needed, boosting efficiency. Torque vectoring features in all versions of the Q5, while a sports differential can be optioned for the V6 diesel. Buyers will be able to choose between front and four-wheel drive, and between six-speed manual, seven-speed dual-clutch automatic and eight-speed torque converter automatic gearboxes. The new Q5 is underpinned by new five-link front and rear suspension, with steel springs and adjustable dampers, in a setup largely borrowed from the A4. Optional air suspension will also be offered, including a self-leveling feature borrowed from the Q7, in a bid to improve its ride and enhance its towing ability. As standard, 
Drivers can choose from seven different driving modes via Audi's Drive Select system, with two new modes for off-road driving. Equipment Buyers will be able to choose from 14 exterior colors, and five new trim levels, Sport, Design, S-Line, Design Selection and S-Line Exterior Package. Those packages also include elements to distinguish the car's exterior, such as contrasting gray elements to impahise the car's rugged nature on design line models. Standard equipment includes a new multifunction steering wheel, while the options list includes a heated wheel, and massage functions for the seats. Optional ambient lighting can light the car with 30 different colors. The standard car sits on 17IN alloy wheels, but alloys of up to 21IN can be offered. While the previous Audi Q5 was already praised for its big boot, Audi has incessed space in the new model to a maximum of 610 liters with all five seats in place, and 1,550 liters with them folded away. Loading heavy items is helped by a sensor-activated boot, and the car's air suspension can be lowered. A powered tailgate is standard across the range, as is Audi's parking system, three-zone climate control and heated front seats. In terms of safety technology, Audi customers can opt for three packages, dub tour, city and parking. Functions include adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assistance, lane assistance, cross-traffic alert, autonomous emergency braking and parking assistance. Speaking at the new car's debut in Paris, Audi boss Rupert Stadler said, the first Audi Q5 was for many years the world's best-selling SUV in this class. It was no easy task to design its successor, but that is precisely why it is so exciting. With the new Q5, we are setting the bar a notch higher. Among the great innovations are the Quattro drive system with ultra technology, highly efficient engines, the air suspension with damper control and a comprehensive lineup of infotainment and assistance systems. The Q5 will be built at Audi's newly constructed factory in Mexico.